took the guidance of a good friend of mine who started a marketing company in <laughs> podcasting, i.e. yourself. Hi, I'm Paul Rupert, and I've got 24 years in the mobile telecommunications services business, utilizing a wide range of skills, including sales, marketing, uh, business development, strategic development, and mergers and acquisitions identification and uh, uh, due diligence. I've been in some of the pioneering companies that have developed the means for uh, people all over the world to send text messages, 160 short, brief, uh, glimpseable characters that has become a social and historical and commercial phenomenon. And now I'm a consultant back to the industry as well as to enterprises that are looking to tap into the power of messaging in all its ways and shapes and forms. You know, I took the guidance of a good friend of mine who started a marketing company in <laughs> podcasting, i.e. yourself, and uh, recognized the power of the voice, if you will, and the means to be able to cut through the noise in a conversation that could be held between two people. That includes all the nuance and purpose and objectives that you might have in a commercial endeavor, you know, whether it's trying to pitch a deal or whether you're trying to market an opportunity. And I thought it was the most efficient and it also resonated with my own skill set, having been involved in sales and been involved in uh, mass marketing engagements. I thought that um, my skills would be best utilized using that platform as opposed to video or others. I've done video work before, but I felt that uh, the podcast was be, would be the most efficient way to tap into that opportunity. You know, this is a, a long answer to a simple question, but for me, it's uh, I've tapped into an understanding of the journey of storytelling. Not only that we human, as human beings love the, the hero journey, as you've talked about before, but also their own personal journey in the context of being able to identify, reinforce, and really accept um, a number of different traits that I could pull out that I had kind of um, kept quiet, if you will. And being able to tap into that as a result of others saying, hey, you know, talk, tell me more about that experience. Um, it not only validates that experience from the past, but, you know, it also forces you to look backwards. And looking backwards, you start realizing, gosh, there are a lot of patterns in this path, aren't there? And accepting what those patterns are that you may not, at least for me, that I didn't readily accept, they were there but I just never pulled them out and said, yeah, this is a good thing. So shed some light on it. Uh, and a whole host of other things, just even on the technical aspects of um, giving and getting good conversation. And that's uh, imperative relative to what I do, trying to persuade people and provide um, concrete descriptions of conceptual ideas, you know, whether they're business strategies, or my past political strategies, uh, or just being able to convince someone, buy this from me if you want to get to the uh, baseline. I'd probably say be relaxed, but also focused in what your objectives are. Relaxed in the context of embrace it, accept it, and um, do everything you can to be good at the craft of being a podcast guest, being a good guest. And as I say, you know, giving and getting good conversation and then illuminating what your own learnings are. And so accept that. I think myself as being, I'm not that linear, but um, I started recognizing that the conceptual aspects of it, 
we're talking about storytelling. Now, normally storytelling would be viewed as fantasy, a Walt Disney-esque or, you know, grand lullaby type approach. But if you think about what make-believe is, make-believe is making a belief. And that's creating a belief. And that's exactly what you're doing, whether you're uh, pitching a concept or even selling you are creating a new belief for someone. And the difficulty oftentimes is um, undertaking that change because the change is the most difficult thing. We're all lashed down to how we've done things and we're comfortable with that. And making that change can be very difficult, whether it's on an individual or a uh, organizational basis. And so that's what I would go into it open-eyed in terms of you have a responsibility to do it well if you're going to do it. And in the same respect, um, be relaxed about what you share with others. Because if you share the most intimate elements of your past, that's also demonstrating the lessons you're able to pull from those challenges. You may not want to share them um, or the challenges that you face on a day-to-day basis. You know, you and I have talked about the Stoics. The obstacle is the way and become accustomed to that, you know, that's not Yoda, <laughs> uh, you get the idea. So that would be the, um, the quick and dirty, here's the lessons and go run with it.